Howard Community College battles Northern Virginia. Derek Watte anchors our coverage. And thanks, Diane. It's time for the postseason. The Region 20 champion will advance to the national tournament. The other five teams will see their season end over the next three rounds. Howard is limping into the tournament. The Dragons have lost three consecutive games that have not scored a goal during their losing streak. Midfielder Emmanuel Wright has missed the last four matches. Wright is still banged up, but he's set to make his return. Soccer analyst David Owasso will be with us for this Region 20 quarterfinal. David, how can Howard end this losing streak? Howard can end their losing streak today by basically coming in and establishing their possession game. When Howard establishes his possession game, it allows them to really dictate the tempo against whoever they're facing. It's going to be key for Coach Dragunov today as he's happy his talisman, Emmanuel Wright, returns. Wright is by far Howard's best player in the attacking third. Northern Virginia enters the tournament on a two-match win streak. The Nighthawks have scored nine goals during that stretch, and they'll be motivated to avenge their overtime loss to Howard. David, what do you expect to see from Nova? What I'm expecting to see from Nova is a very scrappy game. Nova are going to try to be very physical with Howard and look to see if they can capitalize off set pieces and things like that. They will look to see if they can stop Howard's possession game by being very physical with their midfielders. The winner moves on to the semifinals. The loser season is over. Let's go to the Dragon's Lair. First half, goal kick for Northern Virginia. Falls remain if. Lifts it above Brian Zapinski. Nova takes the lead. Very poor defending by Howard as a simple long ball goes over them due to a lack of depth by the center backs. Howard looking to respond. Walter Gonzalez. Jonathan Horrocks. Neo Gustandino shows off his moves. Gustandino withstands both challenges. Deep cross finds Gonzalez. Emmanuel Wright. After three straight shutout losses, Howard is finally on the board. Excellent service from Gustandino and tremendous run by Gonzalez to get on the back post and square it back across goal again. Northern Virginia in possession. If marked by Gustandino, the free kick is awarded to Nova. Really harsh decision by the ref. Christopher Nunez through the wall scores. In less than two minutes, the Nighthawks regain the lead. Seven minutes till the half. Colin Sirio, fantastic ball forward. Right, here he goes, into Palung. Emphatic finish, Lung ties the game. Second half now, free kick for Nova. Nunez takes it, leaping save by Zapinski. Northern Virginia in possession. Nunez, if. Threw ball ahead to Joshua Cornwell. Cornwell! Zapinski can't keep it out. Northern Virginia reclaims the lead. Awful defending again by Howard. They look for the offside decision and completely stop defending. 12 minutes remaining. The clear is broken up by Howard. Emmanuel Wright beats his man. Wright has room. Wright just off target. Four minutes to play, 50-50 ball. Lung with pressure, Gustandino wins it for Howard, pushes it to right, surrounded by Nova shirts. Still right, he beats out three defenders, Emmanuel Wright. Keeps Howard's season alive with a sensational effort. It's a tie game. Tremendous run with the ball and finish by Emmanuel Wright who's been an absolute standout for the Dragons all season long. We'll have two 10-minute overtime periods. First goal wins. Lung passes to right. One on one with the keeper. Latona comes out. And he saves the day for Nova. Here's a chance for Howard. Sirio's cross. Punched by Latona. Horrocks to Lung, inside the 18. Lung, no, just off target. Final minute, if it remains scoreless, we'll go to penalty kicks. Michael Police sends it ahead to Elvis Hinosa. Keeps it going for Nova. If keeps his head up, goes to Hosafat Latona. Northern Virginia wins it. Tremendous individual play by Latona to create a shooting opportunity with the defender right on his back. 
great finish. When Howard look back at this game, they will see that certain defensive mistakes really cost them in the end. Northern Virginia puts an end to the Dragons' season. Four to three is your final. Let's send it down to Hamid Hosseini. There was a lot of facilitating and role playing involved in the game, but I also noticed some lack of communication on the field. So, Emmanuel, my question to you is, what could you have done to change that? Uh, obviously, we could have uh, communicated more better, uh, stay compact, and uh, avoid the mistakes we made, which caused the first goal. But it is what it is. Um. Now, both both of you being sophomores, what was your greatest learning experience leading up to this regional tournament? Um, I think for the team as a whole, the the best thing that they learned was that we had to be consistent. Like we would have some games against College of Southern Maryland where we just dominate and win three nothing against the team we were supposed to have a close game against. But then Anne Arundel, a team that we should have beat, like we just made a bunch of mistakes and lost seven to four in the back. So it's a you have to be consistent is what we took out of it. Mm -hmm. Emmanuel? Uh what I got from the season is uh you have to get a positive attitude. Like you have to listen to coaches, uh do what they say and I keep positive and uh, good things will happen. Attitude is the most important thing. Uh. Well, always a pleasure watching both of you and uh, I wish you all the best in the future. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is Dragon's Lair Update. I'm Omid Hosseini.